Often called the supreme territory, the see-through world is a state of pure control and extreme concentration. Hello everyone, my name is Valor, and today we're talking about one of Demon Slayer's best abilities, the see-through world. The see-through world is a state of supreme concentration to the point that the mind becomes invisible. Within the see-through world, your mind becomes invisible and you become aware of your body down to the tiniest bullet vessel. These are the fundamentals of the see-through world. By utilizing your five senses and becoming aware of your entire body, you slowly polish this insight and concentration into the see-through world and slowly obtain this power. After a certain point, Tanjiro's father explains that you can take out the parts you don't need and focus on the things you do need in any given situation. The example Tanjiro gives is when you close your eyes to hear better, it is taking out what you don't need to enhance what you do. After enough practice with the see world, Tanjiro explains that the movements will become just like blinking, which likely means the movements become subconscious or automatic, since Tanjiro is specifically choosing an action that is quick and thoughtless. This is aided by the fact that Tanjiro explains that in the see world, your mind becomes invisible. Tanjiro continues to tell us that entering the see world, however, brings suffering due to the power bringing your strength to its limit. Once you enter the see world, your perception of the world begins to change. Your opponents become transparent and you begin to see muscles and nerves in their body, as well as their blood vessels. STW also allowed Tan Tanjiro to move faster than he ever had before, basically proving the see world is a drastic increase in power. Tanjiro also blatantly states that his movement intuition and evasion speed drastically increased, which is undeniable evidence that the see world is narratively supposed to be a supreme amp. Whether it is equal to the mark, i.e. 100 times, is up for question, and you could maybe infer it is from various things, but it is far safer to say that it is a massive amp. Something extremely interesting too, is that the see-through world by itself did not instantly close off Tanjiro's barrel spirit. In fact, Tanjiro explains that it's something he can choose to close off when he says if he were to turn it off while he was actively in the see-through world, meaning it's something he actively chooses to turn off. We know that the battle spirit is connected to the will to fight and bloodlust, so the fact that Tanjiro can turn this off at will implies that he can also manipulate things within his mind, like his own emotions, and can completely shut them off if he so chooses. In STW, Tanjiro's breathing even changes into something completely different, and with the context surrounding the STW as it being an increase, we can actually safely assume that within STW, this new breathing could surpass the total concentration breathing that all the Hashira use. The see-through world even allows someone like Gyome to have pseudo-sight and allows him to see exactly how Muzan's body operated. Although he does mention he does this through hearing the echoes, but this just means Gyome is converting sound into sight, which is really impressive. See-through world also is possibly extremely easy to teach, as just Gyome explaining it to Igoro allowed him to instantly access it. Although this could just be due to an immense skill Igoro possesses, however Tanjiro upon remembering his father's explanation of the see-through world also seemingly instantly accesses this insane power. And that's basically everything. The SCW does not have a lot to it, but a lot of people don't really know or seem to understand how it works, so I thought I would drop a quick video explaining how it works. Longer videos will return soon, it's just that these shorter videos have been easier to produce while I work on other things. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all guys next time.